When you think of police dogs, you probably start with German Shepherds, maybe a Bloodhound, and it's a long way down the list before you get to yapping balls of fur. But in Japan, some incredibly cute canines are doing their level best to run with the big dogs. And here's ABC's Akiko Fujita. In the doggy dog world of crime fighting, where intimidation is part of the job, an eight pound squeal doesn't exactly scream fear. Miniature pups have long been considered the pampered lap dogs, arm candy for the rich and famous. But police dogs? At just 10 pounds, miniature Schnauzer Koo is the face of a new breed of police canines in Japan. Tiny, agile, and yes, adorable. But don't call Koo a police mascot. He's trained to sniff out drugs and explosives, follow officer commands. He's even got a few tricks up his sleeve. He's kind of a pioneer in some so, ways. So you know, no, no. Police here have traditionally limited their force to big dogs like German Shepherds and Labs. But three years ago, Koo became the country's first miniature canine, passing a rigorous test few his size had attempted. He blazed a trail, and police departments changed their rules so smaller pups could enlist. Size doesn't matter when it comes to skill, trainer Keichiro Fujitani says, and the expanding miniature force is proof. This okay. is Mochi, Japan's newest and tiniest police dog. Let's hear your loudest bark. Right up. The three pound bundle of energy is all business on the job. That's him at a crime prevention event, paw to paw with his trainer. Smaller pooches can only enlist as sniffer dogs now. Officers say they don't have the strength to perform other duties. They also have a short attention span about half the focus their larger time. counterparts have. <laughs> At this police dog tournament, we spotted plenty of canine hopefuls, easily distracted and easily scared. Three-pound Issei just shuddered at the sight of our camera. Leave it, leave it, leave it. They may not have the bite to compete with the big dogs, but these adorable balls of fur are trying their hardest to prove they're every bit as fierce and reliable. For Nightline, I'm Akiko Fujita in Ishikawa, Japan.